What's your name? Buck Wagner. And what's your position in the union? Chairman of the union committee at Manitowoc Cranes. Okay. 516. And what made you guys decide to go on strike? We didn't really decide we were forced out on strike because of the language in the contract, proposed contract, about union busting. They wanted to strip all our union rights away. And what does that mean for the workers? It means that you go back to a shop, the collective bargaining eventually will be done, and they can give you whatever they want for wages, benefits, uh, vacations, and everything. Okay, and then how do you relate what's going on at Manitowoc Crane to the attack that Walker had on the public sector unions last spring? It's in directly uh, parallel to what Walker was doing. The guy they brought in to, was a, for a union buster, and that's who they hired to do our negotiation. They're, they're negotiating with us. There's something rotten in the state of Wisconsin, and it starts at the top. A year ago, Scott Walker said that the public employees, the teachers, the snowplow drivers, the firefighters, he said that we were the new halves and he tried to turn private sector employees, auto workers, steel workers, and machinists against us and we stood up and we said no way! So this is more about the freedom and the rights of the union rather than wages it, and benefits. It's exactly what it is. Wages is not really an issue. We've gotten through most of that. It's the union busting language is what we're out on strike for. One of the things I'm so happy to do is to say that unions have come from all sectors of the economy. They've come from the building trades, they've come from manufacturing, they've come from the public sector. They've come everywhere to show support for the workers, to show solidarity. Hi, I'm Diane Palmer representing healthcare workers in Wisconsin, and we wanted the machinists to know that we too stand with you. Healthcare workers standing ready and able to help you with your fight. This is what solidarity is all about. Look at this. This is what solidarity, this is what democracy is all about. On behalf of the state employees that I represent, I want not only the machinists, but everybody here to understand that we stand shoulder to shoulder. It is injury one, is an injury to all. Mike Rosen from AFT. My name is Mark Hoffman, and I am the business manager of the IBEW Local 159 of Madison, Wisconsin. And also the chair of the Wisconsin State Building Trades Bargaining Unit, of, uh, which uh, is one of the units that uh, successfully recertified under, go under Governor Walker's rules. And I stand here today in solidarity with the Messina's Local Lodge 516 in their fight against the loss of workers' rights. I'm proud to say that the Manitowoc Education Association teachers recently, <laughs> recently, <laughs> recently recertified as a union. In addition to recognizing the need to all stand together, we have a donation from the Manitowoc Education Association for $2,500. John Hyde and UFCW. Yeah. All right. Randy Bryce from the Iron Workers Local Aid. Tony and the Laborers. Malin Mitchell from the Firefighters. Yeah. Two, we're going to stand with the machinists until the job is done. And my firefighters here in Manawalk will be with you until the job is done. We will be here. Yeah. I'd like to thank all of the union leaders and their members that are here in support of the machinist union's effort to win the best wages, benefits, and working conditions possible for our members at Local 516 in Manitowoc Crane. How long do you expect to stay out here? That, that's all determined by the company. If they're willing to drop the union busting language, we're willing to go back to the table and get a contract. We could do it in an hour. But until then, the union is not going to back down. Right. What's disgusting? Union busting! Solidarity! Thank you all! God bless you!